Alrighty YouTube, welcome back to another vlog with the voiceover. This I'm gonna remodel my room just a bit. I'm gonna go buy these uh, cases over at Costco. They were on sale. You usually they're like 10, 11 bucks. You saw I ended up getting 12 of them. And uh, something new here. I these three mini shelves were in my restroom where they all contained uh, my Funko Pops and some old stuff. Yeah, don't look at that. It's very dusty. <laughs> Those are the old uh, Power Ranger ones, not the new ones. The new ones, Lightning Collection. The other ones were called Legacy. That's what kind of really got me into it. But then they stopped making it because, you know, Hasbro ended up buying Power Rangers. But in a sense, yes, look, there's, there's all these covers, boxes everywhere. I have a mess. And I'm just trying to make it look a lot cleaner, you know, trying to make shelves look way better so this is just a little preview of how i ended up doing my uh stocking i basically got all of the uh funko pops put them in their boxes cleaned them and try to stack them as much as possible you know I, look i still want them but it's just like at the moment i prefer having my power rangers and all that you know some of the boxes i'm trying to put them away at this moment so my little niece is here she wanted to help and obviously she wanted to be in the video uh, but other than that, yeah, I ended up using three boxes in total. As you saw, that's basically the Swifter Duster I was using. Basically, my niece is showing you exactly how I was doing this. Just, you know, just slightly, just trying to remove the dust, pack them away. And I believe this is the last box that I had right there. My niece was trying to help and, like, make it seem like she was cleaning, but she was, like, messing it up. Obviously, always enjoy her company, right? Um, but it looks really freaking nice overall though. I was able to put everything away and just can't wait to show you guys. So at the end of this video, I'm going to show you exactly how my room looks. Again, it was a couple months later, but it looks really freaking nice. Uh, but overall, just really happy I was able to clean out all the mess. And then next up, got a little crazy, so we made our way over to Target. This is where I get my shelves. Again, um, they're a five shelf, whatever, from Room Essentials. They're like $37, I guess. So we're over here, you know, bought some of that and bought some cottage cheese for the dogs, as you'll see right there. Boom. And now we're making our way over to the truck. And again, guys and gentlemen, please don't be those jerks that just leave the carts anywhere, just Make sure to take them back. It only takes you like maybe less than a minute. But we're going to make our way over to Costco because we need to get something else. And we ended up getting one of those party tables, the ones that fold and stuff, with the chair because that's how I want to do my reviews. Yeah, I don't want to do my reviews in the restroom because I ain't got no more space. And remember, please be kind and put them back. But uh, yeah, I ended up uh, making... I guess clearing out uh, some space in a sense because this is obviously the second one. This is where I want to just remove stuff and just that's where I have my uh, Funkos in there. And right now just a bit I'm going to show you how everything kind of came out. You know, hopefully you guys do enjoy it and I'll stop with the voiceover. So as always, you know, I always forget to do the freaking main thing but uh, this is... Uh, how I ended up uh, remodeling my room in a sense. Again, I try to remodel my room like every, I don't know, couple months just to, you know, make things look different. Uh, but as you can see, I had all the uh, the Power Ranger boxes up there. Uh, honestly, I, I still have them. I just cut them up, I guess, to where I, like I'm just folding them in a sense. Like I still want them, you know what I mean? But clearly, big old difference over there. Just have the Legos. I still don't know how I want to, I guess, disassemble those. Because, again, I'm still a box collector, you know. But finally, you can see my Mega Yarn Yoshi. And look at my Power Rangers over here. So, kind of try to start doing a little bit of a seasons, in a sense. Look, these are probably, like, my favorites. They're, like, metallic colors. Still need the white one. But for the moment, like, I don't know. I don't think I've ever had, like, a full set of... The original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And again, this is season three, right? But I really, really, really love these. This one is more of a like, this is it for now. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then obviously we got this one that has nothing. Just has like my pills over there that I take when I have a headache or anything. So that one's clear. Obviously the last one's when I have my soccer jerseys. Again, no more space. And then as we saw over here, um, 
we added those three that were in my bathroom and now the first one is basically because you can't see anything so i just have some of the stuff that gabby gave me when she went to mexico last year so you know you can't really see anything past that you know what i mean uh this one just used uh some of my morphers again a little bit kind of too high to see and I, I do obviously have my minions um stuff that i got from universals last year and then this is where we just start kind of going into seasons in a sense so just kind of messing around with them. Obviously, once I start getting more of the Power Rangers and more of uh, more seasons come out, I'm gonna try to have like each each like shelf, I guess, for one to maybe two teams, if that makes sense. Um, so basically, this is like a Boom Studios one right here. So you know, try to go with themes. This is my villains, as you guys can see. And then I got two empty, sh uh, or I guess three. So the last shelf is where it's all just kind of empty. Except for this part. I have my video games from the back then. It's like it's scratched up for when I had puppies in here. So got two. Basically, I got four shelves open, if you know what I mean. And then you guys can see, kind of cleaned it up a little bit more over here as well. Um, obviously getting a little dusty again, but nothing too crazy. Um, the biggest difference is just like, I have my controls here and now I move them up over here. Now this is a big change because right here on top of this one, this is where I had my Power Ranger keys. I don't know. Well, it's basically those right there, uh, from the post or like the little poster things that I have in there. Uh, that's the cardboard where the keys came in. So I basically just replaced that and start putting my controllers in there instead. And then in these three shelves right here, this is where I had the Amiibos. Y'all remember those Amiibos? It's basically like one of those, um, in a sense, it's where they all came in that one. It's basically what got me started into collecting like stuff. Um, but yeah, um, cleaned it all out. Now it'll be a lot easier to clean because I think that was a hassle where I'm like, oh, I got to clean all of them. But now it's just like, all right, get the controls, clean the glass and boom. Ended up putting the Pokemon cards here uh, just for the heck of it. Because, again, I want to have some some sort of Pokemon, you know. This was all unchanged. It's all there. Put the controller, or like the controllers for the lights. And, again, we're going by themes, right? So, we got In Space, my favorite season. We got Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I guess season three, you know, the Ninjettis. Uh, but, again, you can't see anything there. So, and then back here, again, also... Uh, the boxes were there. Like I said, took them all out. And then here for the moment, we got the World Cup balls. I got the OGs, the originals, and then the minis. And another placeholder for the moment, I got my charms here. My little light-ups. I got PlayStation. And then I got my Xbox Achievement one over there with the PlayStation Cup. Now this one, I got some of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle ones. With the Xbox light up. So again, just having just some placeholders for the moment. And then these last two are empty as well. But don't worry, obviously I'll keep on, you know, placing them more. Uh, but now let's go, let's go over to the restroom. And look, <laughs> it's finally kind of freaking clean. It's starting to get dusty again, so do apologize for that. But yeah, simplified it a little bit more. Try to have less, the better, you know. Uh, but yeah, this is a placeholder for all my consoles and yeah, pretty, pretty freaking awesome. So let's go over to this, which I believe I didn't show you guys, uh, but, and, and then again, you know, fast forward, I'll have better lighting. Uh, cause again, yeah, the room's like red and yeah, it's like freaking weird, but this is how I have it for the moment, which is what I really like again. This is just kind of random. Um, obviously, this is the one that I really, really want to open the most and make. Uh, but once the box is out of the way, we'll have more space. This is where, I guess, this is my Lego slash building model kits. Again, the main part is to try to have four of these shelves go along this wall. We'll see what we do with this mini fridge. But, again, and look, yes, it's food. They're all closed, except for the Cheetos. I know, it's weird, but don't at me, okay? They're all packaged. Jeez. So this is just uh, the shoes. And these are just like the stuff that I have for like the nephews and nieces. Um, those are kind of like the ones that I'm going to open with Gabby. Ex except for the shoes. Shoes I'm going to end up opening. 
Um, sorry for the, the persons in the background. I think you guys can hear that lawnmower. Uh, this is the Mario section where, you know, I got to open that one. And then I, I just recently got this one. Gabby actually bought it for me, the tractor. I'll explain it later down the road why I have a tractor. Then I got the freaking, uh, the Technique monster trucks over here. Pretty fun to build. Obviously going to do a review for all of them. Nothing crazy. And then down here is just like the, what do you call it? The game section. So got some of the games for when I go over to Gabby's or play with my nephews as well. Now let's go on top. I ended up putting the, uh, the Xbox fridge up there. Again, it was more for decor than actual using it as, as a fridge. I'll, it, you know, I'm not afraid to use it, but I will eventually. So here is the Harry Potter section. Obviously I'm gonna open these with uh, Gabby. From what I understand, this is uh, retired already. So this can quite be a little bit more expensive if I ever want to sell it, but I don't cause it's Harry Potter. So Gabby's into it. So I'm gonna build it with her. Hopefully in a couple of months, we'll see. But yeah, this is the one she built. This is the one I build. Now this is the one that I'm excited for again. Cause look, these three I built like two years ago. Yeah, so it's been quite a while. I just recently got a couple of them, so those are all kind of new. This is my newest one. Literally just bought it last week at Target. I saw it. I'm like, oh, it's still the same as this Goku, but I guess you can move his hand a little bit more so you can like do like the instant transmission stuff like that. So I'm kind of just curious to see, but I still do have two more Digimon. This Greymon, the one right here, the box, I've had it for two years. Haven't freaking opened it, but don't worry. It's it's the same as this one, but just the original color, right? So definitely need to get into that. And then this is like my Pokemon section here. Yeah, Pokemon section, baby. I'm obviously going to do a review on all these, uh, but I've really freaking enjoyed these. I don't know why. Again, Pokemon just keeps on coming back. But Mega has really... Mega slash Constructs has really guided me, so... As you guys can see, all those are unopened, which I'll, you know, end up obviously doing now that I got my lights as well. And then this one's just like a placeholder. I think this is where I'll have the boxes maybe for the moment. Uh, but yeah, this is how I have everything right now. Again, table's there. I'll have it right here. As you guys will see like in, in, in another episode, um, my lights, obviously, yeah, you'll see that in another video as well. My chair is here, so it's kind of weird, but I'm I'm gonna do reviews for these suckas in my bathroom. Yeah, weird, but hey, what can you do, right? Content's gotta be content, right? So got those little white shelf things that were supposed to be like in the back, but as you kind of mentioned, or as I mentioned, I want to have it open in the back. Yeah. So what do you guys think? Let me know. My crazy for doing this or is this looking pretty cool obviously the main goal is to try to have uh themes as much as possible and then eventually have those lights that kind of go around you know like the led strips and just have them so it looks really freaking amazing but for the moment that's it you know but yeah see you guys on the next one who's that who's that oh,